Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Painted Imagination. Please subscribe so you can see all that I create. In this video, I was inspired by a Google search of face paint and I will be painting that today. The link I'll put right here and enjoy. <music> Hey guys, okay, so this look has four colors, white, red, blue, and black. I started off outlining the areas in white first because it is the lightest and easiest to remove if I don't like the shape or I want to adjust it. A good way to fix any mistakes is to take a Q-tip and wet one side with water and leave the other side dry. Take the wet side, wipe away your mistake, then take the dry side and dry the area so it is ready for more paint. Of course, if the area is large, just take a baby wiper, a makeup wipe, and remove it. But make sure that the area is dry before you start painting again. Now I'm taking a larger brush with that same white and just filling in the areas that I outlined. I did use a second layer of white to make it more opaque. Just try not to use too many layers because then the paint starts to crack after a while. Now moving on to the red area, starting with the lips, creating this large mouth illusion. When you lift your head up, you will see the mouth open slightly, which was a lot of fun when taking pictures later. Um, now doing the eyebrows. The eyebrows were two different styles, which was cool. And then there's red around the one eye and also in the circle on the forehead. Now starting with the blue, which is creating this drip effect and is also used for the eye color. It was a little difficult when painting on the eye on myself. While the eye you're working on is closed, you have to work only one eye open. And moving your arm in front of will block your vision even further. So just take your time with the eyes. One thing you definitely want to do is have your powders ready while painting the eyes because when you put down your first color then open your eyes the color immediately is distorted from the motion of just opening your eye so what you want to do is while the eye is closed put down the color like white for example then put white powder over the color you laid down already so it sets it then you, you can open your eyes and the color will stay in place and you can move on to your next color is black. So black is the last color and we're just going to fill in all the areas that are not filled and start to finish up this look. Right now I'm placing the black line in an M shape to create the separation of the top lip from the bottom lip and it's just right underneath my chin and just filling in the rest of the black.
Okay, here you can see me coloring in the white paint and then grabbing the white shadow and putting on the white shadow. Now I'm putting the blue shadow right before I do the, and the pupil. Now I'm going to outline the iris, the eyelid, and around the bottom of the eye. Then you'll see me grab the black shadow and put that on. This just helps to set all the eye paint so that you, when you open your eye, you won't mess it up. Then I add the little white highlight. It's just a dot of white right on top of the pupil and a little bit of white shadow. And you can see me do the same for the other. I'm adding three black dots in the center and I'm also adding white dots right on top of the black dots, just a little bit smaller. This makes it look like the white dot is outlined, like really fine detail, but all you did was put a dot. It's really cool. Now I'm just sharpening up all the white to make it look bright and finishing up with the hair and the neck. finished product I love this it was a lot of fun to do I hope you enjoy please like comment down below on what you'd like to see next and subscribe for more videos thank you for watching bye